Okay, here we are again, uh, Vegas Vic 1965. Noah, how are you doing? Good. What are we doing this week? We're doing uh, a test on zombies and with, and some mods with no AI and see how far they can go in blocks where they can see somebody. That's true. We're going to be doing one of those because that's really important. I think a lot of people are wondering how close are these zombies to me before they start realizing I'm there and start chasing me. Well, this week's mob guide is uh, going to be on zombies. So, no, without further ado. Let's find out. All right, everyone, welcome back. Vegas Pick 1965, along with my son, Noah. Uh, one of the first few things I want to talk about was when it comes to zombies, there are several several variations or a number of variations. We're only going to be working with the, the regular zombie or the baby zombie at the moment, but uh, they are undead mobs. There's the, when it comes to the zombie classes, you've got the zombie, the baby zombie. Uh, you've got a zombie villager, a baby zombie villager. There's a husk, a baby husk, and then there's drowned and baby drowned as well. So those are your zombie classes. Pretty much all going to be the same way when it comes to pathfinding towards um, either the, the player or the, the mobs that we're going to go over here in just a moment. Now, all of these mobs, when they spawn naturally, will only be able to spawn in areas of light level 7 and below. Anything above that is going to require something like a zombie siege, which we are going to go over a little bit later, where they will actually ignore the light levels around a village. But uh, I want to mention that they do spawn in on packs of four throughout the world as uh, the light levels will allow. And they do happen to break doors if you're on hard mode or on hardcore. But if you're on normal or easy, they do not break doors. So you don't have to worry about that. During the Halloween time, they'll actually, which is October 31st, they actually have a chance to spawn in with what? Oh, you know, that's right. I knew it. Yeah, because I, I almost had, couldn't think of the word for me. My son helped me out. Which is awesome. Glad to have him here. So let's go over now a couple of the... Uh, the distances that we were talking about, because I know that the wiki says uh, one thing, and then we did some testing, didn't we? We found some different things.
Anyway, so that's our test that we ran, and uh, it seems to be working pretty good. Next up, we want to talk about their actual, uh, their kind of habits. One of the things I want to talk about was zombie reinforcements. Now, when you are out in the world and you're attacking zombies, you want to try and kill them uh, with as few swings as possible because zombies, unlike other mobs, have a chance to call in what's called reinforcements. They either spawn in or surrounding zombies get called in. And it doesn't matter what difficulty level that is, and that can be pretty difficult. So you want to kill them with as few hits as possible to limit the chances of that happening. Now, I was talking about items that they pick up. These zombies can actually pick up like rotten meat or some of the other thing that was dropped. And if it's armor or tools, they might even change up to a better tool or weapon. But when they do pick something up, they're actually going to hold on to that and they will not despawn. So if you log out or you go 128 blocks away and you come back, they are still going to be there. It's just like using a name tag. Well, let's, you know what? We need to bring a zombie in here. So why don't you um, let me spawn a zombie in here. One with no AI. Go ahead. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Should we do it right here? Sure. No, it's going to bring one with no AI. I want to go over something that uh, I went over with Skeletons last week, and that is with the, the potions. When, if you, for example, you've got a, an iron farm, and for some unknown reason you made a mistake, and that, that zombie's about dead because either the sunlight or something else or a golem might have uh, got a piece of them, and you don't want to go through all the trouble of bringing them back, getting another one up there again. Well, if you make yourself a damage, instant damage potion, you can actually heal them. Now, like this, let's move this stuff out of the way. Sorry, no, I want to be able to see. Now, the healing potion, Splash Potion Healing does, it heals us, but it actually damages those guys. And the Splash Potion Harming will actually heal them. Wait, what about instant harming too? Would that heal them even more? That will, that will also heal them too. That will heal them right on up. Now, one of the things I also want to talk about was uh, the experience that they give and also burning up in daylight. Unlike skeletons that I mentioned last week, that uh, these guys, uh, when it comes time for daytime, and that's when the sun's about 15% up, they are going to start burning up and they're going to go either for water or shade. But if they lock on to something, unlike skeletons, they're going to keep coming. They'll come after you or a villager. They won't care. They'll go right ahead and burn up. And there's also a chance they will catch you. You will catch on fire. But the uh, the damage that they the, – the, actually, the experience orbs that you're going to get from these guys, a normal zombie is going to get you about, you know, five orbs. And if they're equipped with anything, like on your higher level difficulties – then you'll get one to three additional orbs. Now, baby zombies are going to get you 12 orbs. And talking about baby zombies, they're fast, aren't they, buddy? Mm-hmm. They're insanely fast. Yeah, they are. They <laughs> they actually, out in the world, when, when a, on a normal spawn, they're about 5% of the spawns. They are 30% faster than the rest of them. And if they happen to be a jockey, now I know on Bedrock, there is a whole host of of, of Animals and things that the baby zombies can ride, including the adults. Uh, on Java, I'm only aware of them being chicken jockeys. But uh, the speed that they will have, regardless of what they're riding, will be just the same as the normal uh, baby zombie speed. And that's 30% higher. And these guys have a very small hitbox. They're difficult to hit. And they're dangerous. I can't say any more than them. They're insane. Yeah, they're insanely small. Uh, and... They do fit through one by one gap. So remember, if you're out there building, let's say, for example, a uh, you found a spawner or uh, you made a mob farm, you want to make sure that you either put a slab or you put a trap door, something that will limit that from being a full one by one open space. Because those little baby zombies will get out and they will wreak some damage and they are so, so, so quick. The next thing I want to talk about is a, a zombie siege. Now, Bedrock, guys, according to what my, my information, Bedrock does not have zombie sieges. But zombie sieges occur in villages. And they happen at starting at midnight. So if you happen to be in a village around midnight, that village has at least 10 beds and 20 villagers, then there is a good chance that you are going to have a zombie siege. And unlike normal zombies... These guys will ignore a lot of the normal spawning requirements, such as light levels. If you have it completely well lit, it will not matter. 
these guys will still spawn. And they're, they're a lot of trouble to deal with when you get that many together. And it increases, actually. So if you have 20 beds and 30 villagers, uh, 40 villagers, like twice the amount, then you're going to have twice the amount of zombies that are going to spawn. So 20 beds to 40 villagers, you're going to get a chance. There's going to be up to 40 zombies that will spawn. 30 beds and 60 villagers, there's up to 60 zombies that can spawn. So you may be proud of all those villagers you have, but if you hang around at midnight, they're not well protected, you are going to be in trouble. Well, I think we've pretty much covered everything on here. As you can see from the back, Adults Craft is another server that I play on. I've been playing on it since December. It's all adults. I've got Noah here with me on my own private server, but I also got to make sure that uh, I at least promote them as well as AdStar, the family-friendly server that Noah and I play on. Uh, a great group of people on both servers. They are really, truly, truly wonderful people. Anyway, I All right, guys, that's going to do it for me and Noah, right, Noah? I yep. think we pretty much covered all the bases for the zombie itself to help you with your own Minecraft world. If you did like the video, click the like button. If you would like to subscribe for future videos, I make videos normally every Wednesday, have them edited and out by early, early Thursday morning. Noah and I really appreciate you watching this, guys. And uh, until next video, we shall see you then. Thanks, guys. Bye.